Hello, everyone, and welcome to Western Computers Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management Overview. My name is Joe Woodmansey, and I am a senior solution architect with Western Computer for the product known as Dynamics 365 Finance and Supply Chain Management. Today, we'll be focusing solely on the Supply Chain Management, or SCM, portion of this particular application. And what we thought we'd do to start is simply do a quick overview or definition of what we mean by supply chain management. Now, obviously, this is something that's crucial to both distributors of products as well as manufacturers of products. Loosely defined, it's a broad spectrum of managing your products and your resources from conception to marketplace. The scope of supply chain management is very large and includes suppliers, contractors, internal resources, customers, raw materials, and products. The timing in a supply chain is critical and can have a huge impact on the cost of your organization as well as the revenues with things like lead times, material and resource shortages, planning failures where we don't get the right product in the right place at the right time. All of these are critical components that must be managed how does D365 SCM, supply chain management, help to manage your supply chain? Well, first, it is a fully functioning Azure cloud-based application that scales and grows as your business grows, especially in periods of seasonality where you might have spikes in volumes and you may have performance increases and the cloud automatically adapting to that and helping to manage that volume of business. It does offer a full range of business applications, whether you are purely a distributor, a manufacturer, a retailer, or some combination of all of these. It is designed to help you optimize your supply chain processes, resources, and materials with capabilities such as materials resource planning or MRP, vendor self-service help, things that help to minimize your vendor lead times and help reduce your inventory carrying costs. It does come with a fully automated WMS or warehouse management system. So no need to integrate to a third party best of breed warehouse management system. D365 SCM has one and that helps you optimize your warehouse space, your workers, your utilization of labor and resources. And we'll take a look at that when we get into the application. Finally, there's a built-in supply chain analytic capability, KPI or key performance indicators that are delivered via Microsoft's Power BI, the analytics platform that's part of the Azure cloud. Now with that, what I'd like to do is go ahead and switch over to Dynamics 365 SCM and do just a brief overview of some of the modular capabilities. And I'll go into my Chrome browser where I'm logged into my web application known as Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is go into what we call a workspace. I'm gonna assume I am a manufacturer. I'm gonna go into my production floor management workspace. And what I simply wanna show here is how D365 SCM pushes information out to me to help begin to manage my supply chain. So here I can see on one page, on one workspace, a visualization of the number of production jobs that I have and what status that they are in. I have 12 production orders that need to be released. I have a number of jobs over here on the right hand side that are in various stages of completion. I can see who they're assigned to, what operation they are currently in. So the first part of D365 SCM is the ability to push out to my workers the work that they need to do, the information that they need to process to make it as efficient as possible to work through transactions. These are called workspaces and they're yours to build and put the content in that you'd like. Now I will close out of that We'll talk briefly about several modules or modular capabilities that are offered in the SCM, Supply Chain Management for D365. And to do that, I'm gonna come over to my module listing and I'm gonna scroll down 
And again, playing the role of a manufacturer, I'm gonna start with production control. Just do a brief overview of the capabilities of this module. In addition to managing things like your bill of materials and your routings for how you build product and your labor, we also have production orders that are of two types within Dynamics 365 supply chain management. Standard production orders for a discrete type of industry, as well as what we call batch orders for a process manufacturing type of industry. So with process, you're going to be interested in things more like formulas and recipes and yields and things that are non-discrete in nature where you might be doing a more continuous process. D365 SCM offers both of these capabilities as well as Kanban or lean manufacturing, where the idea is let me put my raw materials as close to the consumption center as possible, thereby minimizing the amount of time that I need to access that. So a very robust production module. Now the next module I wanna set focus on and talk about is warehouse management. This is the included fully functioning WMS warehouse management module that's part of D365 SCM. How does it help you to manage your supply chain? By allowing you to do things like build loads of inbound and outbound processes, things that help optimize how you move orders through the warehouse, how you build loads, how you ship them, as well as other types of WMS work, such as outbound wave picking, where again, you're trying to optimize the route that people follow. Packing and containerization, cycle counting, replenishment. So for all of this type of WMS work, the system helps you optimize those processes. The next module I'll set focus on is also a fully included transportation management module. So whether we're talking about inbound or outbound processes, the ability to do things like load planning. So if we have outbound sales orders, the ability to fully load a truck before we ship that through the warehouse. Same thing on the inbound side. So integrated transportation management that lets me do things like dock appointment scheduling, management of routes, and then also a fully functioning freight bill and invoice auditing capability. That transportation management module works with both inbound and outbound, again, to help you optimize the supply chain and make sure that you're managing those transportation costs. There are a number of other types of modules. We won't have time to go into great detail on this presentation. Things like master planning, which is suggesting to you purchase orders and production orders based on time parameters and time fences that you've defined. Now, specifically for purchasing, if I set focus here on another browser that I have up and running, here, if I switch over here, I am logged in as a vendor. And in this particular case, you're extending the reach of D365 SCM out to your vendor base and allowing them to do things like go in, look at POs that have been sent to them for review, give them the ability to drill down on purchase orders and provide you with details such as they can accept something, they can reject something, they can meet the date that you're asking for or they can't, all of which of course helps you to tighten up your supply chain and know when your raw materials or your distributed products are going to be coming in. So that's vendor self-service. And for the final part of this presentation, as far as SCM goes, I will switch over here and go to another tab on warehouse performance. This is the BI analytics that I was talking about. Specifically in this case, it's for the warehouse performance module. And what I'm going to do is simply set focus on a series of metrics. This is statistics around shipped by customer. And what I can do is open this particular visualization up. This is showing me how I've done on meeting my customer demands as far as shipment time. Have I been early? Have I been on time? Have I been late? And it's doing this by type of customer group. Customer group 10, customer group 30, customer group 90. 
and I can turn on my drill down capabilities here if I wish. If I wanted to get down to a lower level of detail, for example, in customer group 30, what did my performance look like? Now I'm seeing it broken out by Midwest, Northeast, South, West, and of course I could continue this drill down to get to actual customer names and to see how my performance is. So this is an example of the BI analytics capabilities for the supply chain. In this particular case, warehouse performance, but D365 SCM offers several other types of workspaces for analytics that will help manage the supply chain. Things like production control, purchase spend analysis, cost management, all things that can help you tighten up your supply chain, realize where your spend and your cost and your time is being spent, and help you to be as profitable as you can be. So with that, what I'd like to do is thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions at all, we have some contact information there on the screen. If you'd like any follow-up on the D365 SCM or Supply Chain Management Series, please feel free to reach out to us. Again, my name is Joe Woodmansey with Western Computer, and thank you for your time today.